what what are your thoughts on all this? Like bringing all of this together, right? Output script descriptors, mini script, taproot, PSBT, HWI, all of that. That's that's like starting to be a pretty high quality wallet experience in Bitcoin Core. Yeah, it's um honestly, it's also been a, a lot more than I thought it would be. Uh, when I first started working on Core, I didn't expect expect to making to be making so many things and so many large changes. Uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, at the end, I hope that the Bitcoin Core wallet will be a much better user experience where you can use hardware wallets, where you can use arbitrary scripts, and where it will also be a lot easier for us to update in the future with new cool things that come out. Why is the update mechanism superior here? Because it's not, uh, it doesn't require us to change the wallet format. It doesn't require us. So, uh, I always go back to BIP32 for this because I think it's the most clear change, uh, or more, most clear example of it, where in order to implement BIP32, to do it the right way would have required several new records, uh, and a complete overhaul of how keys were being generated, uh, a complete overhaul of how keys were being stored, actually. Um, for, for like, you know, the proper implementation of BIP32. We never did the proper implementation. We kind of did a, a, a half-ass thing where essentially what we did was replace the key, the, the random number generator with a BIP32 driver, uh, and then added a few, a few extra records in the wallet for it. Um, so, so I think that with descriptor wallets, really, the main thing is with descriptor wallets and I guess with Miniscript, uh, doing, making changes in the future mostly amounts to changing or adding a new descriptor. And this doesn't require us to change how things are stored inside the wallet. It only changes what is being stored. And so that means that an upgrade, uh, doesn't, doesn't require us to do, to write a ton of wallet code. It just requires some descriptor code. Yeah, that's really fascinating, right? And on top of that, Taproot also provides more upgradability just by upgrading the Tap version of the Tap Leaf, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, so this ties into all of this nicely as well. Yeah.